What's up guys? So I'm back with another tutorial and this is how I do my perm rods. And I'm starting on freshly washed and conditioned hair. I sectioned my hair in six sections and I already did the back because it's not really rocket science on how I did these. Um, I'm just using the main choice leaving the Tango Silk and Shine Conditioner because it's very lightweight and I don't want my hair weighed down. I'm using the Blossom Silkening Serum so my hair doesn't get stuck to my perm rod because I'm not using any of the little, I can't, I can't think of what it is, but you can get it from the beauty supply stores if I need to do it back in the day, but since I'm not using that because I always forget the name and forget to pick it up. The serum allows my hair not to get stuck to the perm rods as well as the ant shines. And I'm using the biotin infused styling gel just to help secure my ends. I'm not using a heavy amount of product because I don't want my hair weighed down. The hairstyle I was originally going for, I was not able to achieve, maybe because of my hair texture. But I still like the outcome, so I decided to post it. I use a total of 32 perm rods and I slept in these overnight. So just kind of, um, I'm focusing like in the front part, just kind of downwards towards the front of my face with how I'm leaving my curls. That way I can get kind of like a bang in the front. And towards the, um, the back, I just kind of roll them the same way, just towards the back. And that's really it. They're very simple. If your hair is thicker than mine and you feel like you need more product, you can add more gel. You no, know, so heads up, you don't have to use as much as uh, as little as I've used. It's just because I have fine hair. I won't get the curly afro look like most women with thicker hair would get without doing it this way. Less is more for me. I'm just putting some gel on my edges. I don't know if you can tell, I still have a cold and I'm <coughs> trying not to talk a lot. And that's it, 32 perm rods later, and just take your hair down. I just kind of hold the root of my hair and just unravel the rods. You can sit under the dryer. I just didn't want to use any extra heat in my hair since I plan on straighten my hair soon. So that's why I chose to sleep in these overnight. And I felt like I got a a different kind of texture with sleeping in them overnight versus sitting under the dryer as well. Sometimes how you dry your hair can kind of set how your hair is going to look. I didn't want something so uniform because I'm going to mess it up with picking my hair out anyway. So I'm going to use the same serum to just unravel my hair. I'm going to take one like I did with my flexi rod set and just make a bunch of curls. I'm going to turn these curls and like to 20 of them just by unraveling one curl. That's why you don't really need a whole bunch of perm rods because you're gonna break these down into a lot of curls anyway. I'm just showing you how I separate my hair. Just make sure you're not being stingy with the hair serum because the hair serum will really allow you to kind of manipulate these curls a lot better. And if you have frizz, like I had some frizz, you can just go back over a couple and it just instantly just gets rid of a lot of that frizz. So this is how my hair looks, but of course you know how I am. I need that volume, so I'm going to pick that sucker out. And that is really it. Just pick to play with your head and shape your head. I'm just going to be playing around with these curls, shaping it around my head. And that's my curly afro. <laughs> Quick tutorial on a pro rod set, I hope, thus far.
Thank you for watching.